Hi guys, how are you? Today we have this case. He has a lot of space in here and very little in here. So this is the box up that they did. The teeth are very big. I don't know if I can copy that, but I will try. We'll see. Alright, let's start. First I'm applying um, inside like this. It's a mixture of 44 and 45, 50-50. That I always apply to the uh, underside of my metal bridges to hide the metal because it's very opaque. So now I'm applying it to all of the neck areas. And I know that you guys sometimes tell me like, you know, make a regular case or like a hybrid case of the tissue but the problem is that I don't choose my cases and I never ever get normal cases in, <laughs> in where I work for some reason all this kind of stuff that is very uneven or something else end up at my bench at all times I can even see when I go check what's, what cases are there I can tell which ones are gonna go to me. This would be the most difficult situation. And now I will apply um, fluorescent dentin 92. It also looks uh, opacious, like yellowish opacious. And um, it just goes to hide the edge. This is gonna be a simple style of build-up because it's a, a aesthetic case but in a different way. When I have to fix the shape a lot, it's hard for me to think about the colors, translucency and everything together in my head. I decided that today's is gonna be pretty simple. Okay, so now the fluorescent dentine application is done and I can start applying my uh, dentine. Okay guys, so this is dentine. As you can see, I did this only up to here because you see what it looks like over here. His tissue is not that low. It is lower than the cuspid but not to this point and uh, well, you see there is a little bit of depth unfortunately it was all as always trimmed off but you know how i always say you need to respect the tissue all right so now i'm gonna do the lingual part this is what his natural teeth looked like in the lingual part so I'm gonna do something like that. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. Let's do a small cut back. Okay, so now um, I know that some of my subscribers told me not to um, put uh, markers in my build up because it can affect my build up, but I decided to put just a little bit, just this time. All right, and. Uh, First, I'm gonna be doing the mixture of my um, clear fluorescent and um, and opal blue. This one. Okay, so this one looks more like glass almost, but it's translucent, not completely transparent. And this one is opal blue. So I mix it about 50-50. And I'm going to apply it on top like this. Just kind of like framing my work with it. I put um, a little bit of markers in my build-up so you can see better where am I putting what and how much. Okay, and the same on my other crowns so this is the case now with the um, translucent applied and the next I'm gonna build my mommy loons 
so the mummy ones are gonna be built out of uh, out of uh, a little bit of inside and a little bit of FD so first I'm gonna apply uh, FD so pretty much there are like three main mummy ones there's two on um, each side mesial and distal and there is one in the middle which is divided in two like this and I'll put a little bit over here too. all right so some uh, mommy ones are even on the cuspid so we're gonna put a little bit here just like that and now I'm gonna do the mummy ones out of this that's the inside I uh, mixed 44 and 45 for this so these are gonna be more like intense looking mommy ones. I'm just gonna put a couple in the middle. Alright, so now this is done and uh, let's layer the enamel. Enamel is enamel 59. It's uh, not very translucent. I will layer it uh, sectionally with the uh, neutral enamel and enamel 59 and with this I'm gonna make my uh, final shape so it's gonna be this and some uh, neutral It just goes for the incisal third and then I'm just gonna apply the enamel. Um, okay guys this is the case after the application of enamel and I finally figured out what's up with this case so it is a case of cleft palette yeah and i think he actually even had a double cleft like this way and this way and he's missing these two teeth yeah i think this was a double cleft yeah so i'm gonna try my best and now i'm gonna build my uh, lingual side with the enamel So to make it look natural, just put a little drop in here and then it's good to keep a photo of somebody's work, you know, especially the one that uh, was done for some kind of dental tech competition where everything's very exaggerated. So it's easier to see what exactly the person was doing just the photo and look at it and try to copy it it would help you a lot with your work like yesterday I was using um, the little brochure that came with um, my system initial and today I already remember how I did it yesterday so it definitely helps it trains your eyes it's very good yeah this guy definitely has a very very deep uh, palette look how deep it goes i'm probably just gonna put a little bit of uh, more body in here so i don't have that pronounced uh, indent in there okay 
right so now it's finished and i'm gonna bake it and i'll see you after bake oh yes one of my my subscribers asked me to show which exact uh, program i put it on so this is my oven the ivo clara so i put it on the program mc dentin one and uh, this is my program and i put uh, IRT on and um, so the step is 55 the hold is uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds the IRT is uh, helping to get uh, to dry the crowns correctly and my hold temperature is 890 and the low temperature is 700 okay now see you after bake okay guys so this is the case right now what do you think i think it looks good of course i have some cracks i have to fix this and that show you the mommy ones are pretty good okay so let's do second bake i'm just gonna refill under his pontics and uh, the cracks of course let's see the shade yeah it's okay 8.3 is a little yeah actually this is good okay i'm gonna bake it and i'll see you after bake by the way uh, my second bake channel um, program is the same as the first bake it's just uh, five degrees lower hold temperature okay i'll see you soon okay guys so let's glaze this guy over here i think that the case came out pretty good just gonna glaze it all pretty now too I stayed very late today, I was trying my best to make this bridge nice because, uh, you know, who knows what this guy went through without his teeth since very young age all these surgeries, you know and now finally, I mean, it's a young person, I can tell by his teeth okay, so that's what it looks like right now I don't know if you can see from all this glaze it's very reflective okay and then I'm gonna take some of my orange and do in between his teeth and then after this I'm gonna take my um, occlusal stain and just go lightly the key is to go very lightly no like big stains okay now let's see a three yeah it looks a lot like a three i think i'm not gonna do any more effects enough effects i'll show you after it, i glaze it okay I will see you after glaze hi guys this is the case after I glazed it that's what it's gonna look like in his mouth like this I think it's gonna be nice and uh, this is what it looks like from the from the lingual side so yeah that was his teeth before they were nice and all but you know missing a lot due to the cleft palate okay so like this video if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe for more and i'll see you very soon bye bye